New Yorker suspends Jeffrey Tubin for masturbating on a Zoom call. Um, apparently, what happened, Sagar, is they were doing an election simulation, right. including many of the New Yorker's biggest stars, Jane Mayer, Jelani Cobb, Masha mm. Gessen, and many others. Dexter Filkins, like Jane Mayer, all of them. Yeah. They went to, so they all had roles they were playing in this election. I don't think the role that Jeffrey Tubin was assigned <laughs> included this particular <laughs> act. Okay, so they went to these breakout rooms to, you know, play mm -hmm. act what was going to happen in the election. And then I'm just going to read from Vice what they are reporting happened here. Um, both people who spoke of the condition of anonymity noted it was unclear how much each person saw of what occurred, but both said that they saw Tubin jerking off. The two sources described a juncture in the election simulation when there was a strategy session. The Democrats and Republicans went into their respective break rooms for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. At this point, they said it seemed like Tubin was on a second video call. The sources said that when the groups returned from their breakout rooms, Tubin lowered the camera. The people on the call said they could see Tubin touching his penis. Tubin then left the call. Moments later, he called back in, seemingly unaware of what his colleagues had been able to see. And then the simulation continued. Um, he has apologized for what he described as an embarrassing mistake. The New Yorker says that they are investigating the matter. Mm -hmm. And CNN, he asked CNN for some time off to handle, I think, what he described as a personal issue, personal matter, personal something. Yeah. So that's what we know. That's right. There, that, that's where you're you welcome. are right now. You're welcome, everyone. Incredible. Look, we had to cover the story. I mean, it's just hilarious on several levels. And Tubin is a longtime creep, just so everybody knows. Um, he actually knocked up the daughter of one of his CNN colleagues while he was married and then pressured her to get an abortion. Very classy guy um, that has long commentated on sexual assault matters on the Supreme Court, something that seems to be well qualified to do. So, look. I mean, this is a lot of schadenfreude involved um, in covering this story, just seeing this sanctimonious guy on CNN for a long time. It's just also the most boomer thing imaginable. <laughs> just in turn, he was like, I thought I Couldn't. had... He even used the words, I thought I had muted, muted. the Zoom. Which yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not the wrong not a, mute, Not how friend. that works, bro. <laughs>